Hello and welcome to the section Parsing, Analyzing Training Data. Let's get started with the first video of this section, Tree Bank Construction. Parsing, also referred to as syntactic analysis, is one of the tasks in NLP. It is defined as the process of finding whether a character sequence written in natural language is in accordance with the rules defined in formal grammar. It is the process of breaking the sentences into words or phrase sequences and providing them a particular component category that is noun, verb, preposition, and so on. Consider an example. John bought a book. This sentence is grammatically correct, but instead of this sentence, if we have a sentence book bought at John, then by adding the semantic information to the past tree so constructed, we can conclude that although the sentence is grammatically correct, it is not semantically correct. So the generation of a parse tree is followed by adding meaning to it as well. A parser is a software that accepts an input text and constructs a parse tree or syntax tree. Parsing may be divided into two categories, top-down parsing and bottom-up parsing. In top-down parsing, we begin from the start symbol and continue till we reach individual components. Some of the top-down parsers include the recursive descent parser, LL parser, and early parser. In bottom-up parsing, we start from individual components and continue till we reach the start symbol. Some bottom-up parsers include the operator precedence parser, simple precedence parser, simple LR parser, LALR parser, canonical LR parser, recursive ascent parser, and shift reduced parser. The nltk.parse.api.parser I class is defined in NLTK. This class is used to obtain parsers or syntactic structures for a given sentence. Parsers can be used to obtain syntactic structures, discourse structures, and morphological trees. Chart parsing follows the dynamic programming approach. In this, once some results are obtained, these may be treated as the intermediate results and may be reused to obtain future results. Unlike in top-down parsing, the same task is not performed again and again. The nltk.corpus.package consists of a number of corpus reader classes that can be used to obtain the contents of various corpora. Treebank corpus can also be accessed from nltk.corpus. Identifiers for files can be obtained using file IDS. Here's an example of treebank construction. Now if you go to home directory and then treebank directory, you will find the .mrg files within the folder named combined. Get back to the Jupyter Notebook and type nltk.corpus.treebank.fileids and here's the complete list of the .mrg files that we just saw within the combined folder. Let's continue writing from nltk.corpus import treebank and then print treebank.words from wsj underscore 0007.mrg. So these are the words from the file we specified. Now, to get to the tagged words from the same file, simply use the tagged words function. For accessing the pen treebank corpus, which uses the treebank corpus reader contained in the corpus module, let's execute this code in NLTK. OK. Now, to obtain the parse tree, let's add these lines of code and run it. For now, we can ignore this warning message and move ahead to observe the output. Next, to display the parse tree, we will use the draw method within the chunked sense function. And here's the parse tree. We can apply the leaves method along with the chunked sense function like this. Similarly, you can use the POS function. And the third one is the production function. Now, part of speech annotations are included in the tagged underscore words method. For instance, let's execute this code and see the output. You can also obtain the tags and frequency with the help of these lines of code. As you can see, this code obtains a list of tags and the frequency of each tag in the treebank corpus. Finally, let's see the code in NLTK for accessing the Sinica treebank corpus. In the next line, we execute the past sense function. And here's the output. This brings us to the end of this video.